a couple of stories down and let's see which ones you vote for. Yeah? Why don't we do that to start with? I've got, let's start with these three. These, by the way, are all <coughs> stories that I used to tell to my children when they were younger. Uh, my children are now all in their 20s and my son is actually now married. But these are all stories that we used to read to them. So the first one is called, Can't You Sleep, Little Bear? Have you? Right, I'm going to pop that one there. I've got one here called Lulu and the Flying Babies. Which is a cool book. And I've got one here that's simply called The Silly Book. I like All right. Them. So, if we are going to vote, what's the easiest way of voting? Do you think? Wait, by all um, having their turns That could be. That might take quite a long time. What's another way we might do our voting? What might we do? Say, saying if you want to watch the book that what you want to watch. Okay. Do Why don't they? Put your hand up, that's the answer. I think that's a very, very good way of voting. So should we vote for the books in turn? Okay, mm -hmm. so I'll pick them up again so we can all see them. So we've got Can't You Sleep, Little Bear. We've got Lulu and the Flying Babies and the Silly Book. So who would like me to read Can't You Sleep, Little Bear? Who's voting for that? Nobody. Who is going to vote for Lulu and the Flying Babies? Miss Smith, Mrs. Smith is, and Mrs. Gomez is one, two, three, four, five. Who's voting for the silly book? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think the silly book just wins. Yeah. Right. We may, I think, we may have time to look at Lulu and the Flying Babies as well. Yes. So they, what do you normally do at this point? Do they stay where they are? Or? Um, I guess they'll see the pictures better if they come to look at them. Would you like to come and sit on the floor? Yeah. If Tuck your chair under the table and come and sit on the floor. Now I have to remember my skills as a parent of reading upside down. Take a seat, make yourselves comfortable and make sure you can see the pictures. So this is, I love this book. This is called The Silly Book and it's written by an author called Babette Cole. The Silly Book. Here we go. And it's all written as a poem, so it all rhymes, so listen very carefully. <laughs> if you look closely, you'll agree. There are some silly sights to see. You see some silly sights in there? Yeah. Yeah. A dog. a dog with a bone through its head, which is a bit <laughs> silly. A man swinging from a vine. Naked. His Naked. teeth have fallen out. A man in a barrel. Very silly. Very silly. <laughs> silly people passing by have silly walks that you can try. Um, um, I'm going to be picked up of one who's got, who went oh, he was under the and the Lots of silly walks in there. Silly ears. <laughs> Cauliflower ears. It happens if you play rugby. <laughs> silly ears and silly necks. Look at that long, long neck. And it looks like a giraffe. It does, doesn't it? A really long neck. Silly noses. Ew. Spotty nose with hairs on. And silly specks. What are specks? Glasses. Glasses. Spectacles or glasses. So bunny rabbit glasses. They're pretty cool, aren't they? Silly beards. And silly teeth. <laughs> and silly things worn underneath. Look at their underwear. Union Jack vest and he's wearing pants with bunnies on. It's silly. He is wearing knickers. He is definitely wearing knickers, which is very silly, isn't it? And he's a boy. Yes. Silly hats are there to hide some very silly heads inside. Head All their hats have blown off. Look at the funny shape of his head. <laughs> and he's got a very pointy head and he's wearing a, a Santa hat. And the Queen, oh, the Queen's, look at the Queen's head. 
The crown has blown off. But it matches. It does the indeed. Hat. It fits the shape, doesn't it? <laughs> and have you seen how odd it gets when silly folks look like their pets? <laughs> so she has a pink poodle. And look at her. And he has a, a slithery green, green snake. And look at him. I love snakes. So he looks all slithery as well, doesn't he? And I think this person sitting on the horse here looks a little bit like the horse, yeah? Yeah. A little bit. And this gentleman here about to eat his egg, he looks very much like this duck. He has a long nose. What's the duck thinking? He has a very long nose. does have a very long nose, doesn't he? What's the duck thinking? I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat my egg. Why are you eating my eggs, cheeky man? Cheeky man. I lay those Silly zebras. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Silly bears. He's got his <laughs> mouth stuck in the honey jar. Silly sharks, you know, <laughs> pretending to be a sailing ship, and silly hares. They actually look like They do. My best friend, Silly Ernie Clapp, built himself a big mole trap. The moles had made a bigger kind and quickly caught him from behind. Can you see that? So he's made a trap and he's trying to catch the little mole down in its hole. But look what the moles have done. They made another one. They've made a massive trap. And who are they about to catch? The boys. They're about so to catch Ernie. Ka-toom. He will be caught. Like a worm. He will. Some silly people yeah. like to fly. I've never known the reason why. <laughs> He's got helicopter ears. Look at his tail. It's like a carrot. Is that a little feathery tail? Oh, he's got an angel. He's an angel. He does look like he's got angel wings, doesn't he? Yeah. Babies eat some silly things, like flies with wriggly legs and wings. <laughs> but grown-ups eat them just as well, like wriggly frogs. And snails that smell. Mm. Have you ever eaten snails? Yeah. yeah! When I went to France. When you went to France, that's when I <laughs> ate snails as well. I when thought I they were quite tasty. My Uncle Billy ate some fire. Oh. His temperature went higher and higher. But Auntie got the teapot spout and put poor silly Billy out. What's she done? She poured it over his head. <laughs> so he's caught fire and she's poured it over his head. What, what a silly man. His friend, the Nabob of Namphili, had 40 wives and all were silly. They tickled him and not one stopped until the poor old Nabob Popped. It's gone pop. Have you ever been like that when you've been tickled so much you think you're going to explode? Yeah. He did, he went. He's scary. Don't play silly party tricks and scare your friends out of their wits with silly masks and silly sheets, for they can cause some silly shrieks. She's terrified because he's dressed up. Look at this monster. I hate, I hate being dressed in silly best with collar and cuffs all frilly. I'd rather wear my plain wool suit it doesn't look as silly. Yes, it, does. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Would you go out just like a sheep? Yeah! Would you? Yes! I would yes. go out naked just in my shirt. <coughs> would you? Yeah, oh well, dear, I wouldn't have it. A bit naked. cold, wouldn't it? Did you like that, the silly yeah. book? My yeah. children used to love that book. And we would finish it and then they would say, Shall we read another one? Yeah! 
Well, let's see how our time goes. How about I read you Lulu and the Flying Babies? This is a lovely book. This is Lulu. Okay, this is a lovely, lovely book, and it's written by a lady called Posy Simmons. <coughs> Posy Simmons. And I'll show you the pictures, and then you can see. So it's written like a cartoon. So you have to. Can you see that? So this is Lulu speaking. I was angry at home. Oh, when are we going to the park? Just hold on, Lulu, said Dad. We're getting your brother Willie ready, said Mum. Oh, Willie. <laughs> I was angry in the street. Oh, aren't you a lovely baby boy? Oh, hasn't he grown, my word. This is Lulu. When are we going to the park? She's getting cross, isn't she? I was angry at the park. Why can't I play here? Because it's snowing too much, Lulu. But I want to play here. No, it's too cold for your brother. We'll have to go to the museum. No! Come on, Lulu. And the little baby, her brother, is crying. Oh, it's getting all cold. He's getting really sad. Don't want to see the dinosaurs. Don't want to see the pictures. I want to play in the snow. She's a bit cross, isn't she? She's a bit cross. Come on, Lulu. No! Oof. I shouted in the museum. No, I'm not coming in here. Don't want to. Hmm. You see, she sat down in a grump on a sofa. All right, says Daddy. Well, you can just sit there then. And when you feel better, you come and find us by the dinosaur over there. See? Can you see the dinosaur? There's the dinosaur there. So Daddy has said to Lulu, you stay there then, grumpy. And when you're feeling happy, we'll be over at the dinosaur. You come and find us. Do you think she will? No. Let's see. He's going to win at the park. Horrible, Daddy. I wanted to play in the snow. She's sniffing. And then there's a voice from this baby. Oh, a naked baby. In the picture. And it says, that's filthy. She was sniffing. She was going, that's filthy. Don't pick your nose. <gasps> She's really shocked. Who's talking to me? And use your hanky, not your sleeve. She's probably done this, hasn't she? Eel, horrible. Don't sniff. And don't stand on the seat. And now you can see there are two flying babies. They've come out of the picture and they're talking to Lulu. They're two flying naked little babies. They are little babies, yeah. Little babies. And they're naked. They are naked. Was it snow you wanted? Yes. One, two, three, hop. <gasps> Look, she's flying. They've picked her up and they're flying oh, her. Oh, the, the bottom baby has yeah. the thumbs sticking up. Oh dear, cheeky bottom. They're <laughs> flying through the museum. Snow, where? says Lulu. There! In the picture. So they've flown to that picture and they've climbed into the picture. Isn't that cool? They've climbed into the picture and it's full of snow. See, that means when I see a picture at a museum where I want to go, I'll just jump into the picture. You'd have to do it in... I'll be there. You'd have to do it in your imagination, wouldn't I'll you? If you there. really tried to climb into the picture, what would happen? It would break. It would probably break and you'd probably oh, get thrown out. Actually 
Maggie. You'd be in trouble. And look, they're going to lots of other pictures. We splashed in the sea. We growled at a tiger. tiger. Look at the baby bum bum. We patted a king and gave crisps to his horse. <laughs> I don't know if horses eat crisps, but Lulu fed him crisps. Look at them flying past all the pictures. We ate some cherries. See Yummy. the cherries in the corner Yummy. there? And apples and plums and we spat out the stones down a mountain side. Have you ever done that? You eat a cherry and spit a stone out. Don't do it indoors. It's good fun outside. And then look, Lulu's on the mountain. She's nearly falling. Whoa! But the babies catch her. She's okay. She's okay. We got lost in a dark, dark Wood. Lulu's saying, Where are we? Oh, oh, I want my daddy. And one of the flying babies is saying, I want my dad. They're a bit scared. Oh, look, they've gone to see the man at the information desk in the museum. And he's saying, You're lost, are you? Tell me, what do your mummy and daddy? look like? Well, his mummy's wearing a pink nightie and she's riding a cow. <laughs> riding a cow? And his daddy's got a big fork and grapes on his head. Hey? <laughs> Good gracious. And your daddy? What about him? My daddy? He's got a woolly hat and he's carrying my baby brother. And here he is. Lulu! says Daddy, and our little brother's saying, because that's all he can say, because he's tiny. I hugged my dad, and I kissed my baby brother. And where did you get to, says Daddy. Now, what about you two, flying babies? Oh, I know you. How did you get out? Now, you come along with me. And Lulu's now talking to her daddy and she says, I went with flying babies. Flying babies? <laughs> I did. Hey, where have they gone? There were flying babies. They've gone. And on the way home, Lulu's telling daddy what happened. I flew with them, I did. We, we rolled in the snow, we, we splashed in the sea, we growled at a tiger, we... And Daddy says, fancy that. We patted a king, we spat plum stones down a mountain, we got lost in a dark, scary wood, we... Well, I never. I did you like that story? Yeah. That's a lot. I love that story. It's a really nice story because she's so grumpy and horrible at the beginning of the story. Yeah. And then she meets these flying babies and she has that wonderful, wonderful adventure in the museum. I, I really like that story. So there you go. Wow. What shall we say to Mr. Love? Well, it's a pleasure. It's been lovely to come across and read to you. It really has. And maybe I could do it again another time. Yes, please. Maybe Tomorrow? We'll <laughs> maybe we can find another time when I can come back because I've got as you can see I've bought some other books we haven't had time to read them today but maybe next time I'll bring some of the other books that I've got why don't you come and um, read a book to us every Tuesday well that would be quite <laughs> something oh, yeah, so. <laughs> Let me... I think what else is really lovely is imagining that Mr Last read those to his children mm -hmm. when they were little shall I tell you a secret about when I used to tell stories to my children we would usually, I would usually read to them when they'd gone to bed. So they would be lying in their beds and I would kneel down on the floor and rest my elbows on the bed and we'd open the books and I would read to them. But it was normally about six o'clock, seven o'clock, something like that when they went to bed. But guess what happened almost every night while I was reading the story? Guess what, I, guess what happened to me? You went to sleep. I would fall asleep and my children would nudge me and go, Daddy, wake up. Are you supposed to be reading us a story and I'd fall asleep on the bed?
So I'd be kneeling on the floor and my head would hit the bed and, and the children would be going, Daddy, wake up. And it used to happen almost every night, I'm afraid. So you've done well, I haven't fallen asleep. So that's good, isn't it? Thank you so much.